Hey guys, uh, Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter here. I'm coming to hang out with you for a little while today and uh, show you a technique that I learned at TumblrCon this past month. Um, it was a really cool experience. I know I have to wait for you guys to get in, so um, I just didn't want to sit here like awkward and looking at the camera like all weird and stuff. So um, I'm gonna let a few of you come in. I am, look at this, four minutes early, who to thunk? Um, so I'm gonna check and make sure that um, all of you guys uh, know that I'm here. Hey Tabitha, um, and make sure that we are um, going to be, um, look at me, I'm early, whoop, whoop, I'm early, I'm early. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so excited to show you this technique. So um, I'll talk a little bit and let, um, let some of you guys come on in. Um, I have seen this around. This is not a new technique. This is an old technique. Some of you guys have probably already seen it or have even done it. I have seen it for years. Um, I've been doing cups for a while and I've seen it all over, but I've never done one. Um, thank you. Um, hey, Jerry. So um, this was one of the classes that was done um, on the other side of where I taught at TumblrCon and um, it's the Crackle Cup and um, it looks really uh, a labyrinth, um, but it's super, it's kind of super easy. So um, I wanted to um, show you guys some things to do and some things to don't. So this morning, um, let me show, let me start off by showing you, this is what we're going to, this is what we're going to achieve. Whoa. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a secret. So this cup was, a junk cup that I picked from the graveyard wall. I know I, I talk about the graveyard wall. Um, you guys know that, um, hey, uh, I have a wall of cups that are just like, meh. I do things to them and I'm like, mm, uh, they're gonna sit. So this was um, a cup that I had painted with alcohol ink to look like a peacock feather and it did not look like a peacock feather. So I was like, um, let me see what the crackle does over it. So if you can see, it's super cool. So you can see all the different colors that are under there. So it gave it a super cool, um, you know, like kind of like rainbow-ish, right? And then, so I messed up and I put a decal over the part that I messed up on. And I think it's a pretty cool cup, uh, super simple. It maybe took me five minutes to do it, but maybe you can resurrect some of your cups that you have over there in your strip pile um, that you want to save, you know? Thanks. Oh, awesome. And so this is another one, same thing. Um, I had did a tacket method on here and then I dipped it. I wanted it to look like clouds and it did not. So um, you can see under here, it's got some glitter under it. Um, there's an ugly word right here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to try to co cover the ugly word. Um, but um, yeah, and so it, it looks like really snazzy, you know, like really put together. So um, I did those yesterday and I wanted to make sure that um, I totally knew how to do them before I taught you guys how to use them and how to do it. Um, hit the, the live button for Mr. Nola in this live. Oh, the like, yes. If you are just hanging out with me for fun today and um, you like to see my face, thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel because um, sometimes I do fun stuff. So I'm gonna go through the whole gamut of things that I tried that probably didn't work, but you might like, you might have them at home. So for these, for the, the cup that I'm gonna teach you, all you need is Elmer's School Glue, the white one. Um, I think anybody with kids probably has a bottle or six of these laying around in a drawer somewhere. Um, so you'll need that and, uh, and then you'll need just some regular acrylic paint. This is the brand that I have in my store, um, but you can use any, um, any acrylic paint, the cheap ones, the whatever, uh, apple, apple barrel, um, whatever one that you want to use and you have in your drawer, in your craft room, because I know you have some of this, um, that's all you need, and a cup. Oh, hi from South Africa. Thank you. Um, so, um, I wanted to try some different things because just in case you didn't have the white glue. So, I used on this cup, 
which still kind of worked a little bit, but um, not as well. Um, it's kind of more rustic, shabby, chicy, um, if that's your style. So I used the clear glue for this one. And this will all make sense when I show you the tutorial. Hey, Sheila. Um, so I'm gonna, um, so I'll show you the different things. So this one, you kind of still got the same technique. Um, I did this over um, a tacketed and an epoxied um, cup that had like a pink snowball. So when you turn it, you can like really see the glitter. So this will really come alive whenever you put it under epoxy. This will like really, really um, sparkle. So that wasn't a total fail. And that was using the clear, the, the, just the regular clear. Hey, Dorley. Thank you, ma'am. Um, this one, um, I think is horrible, but I'm going to show you anyway, because I want you guys to see. So we have, um, we have this colored glue in our store for slime. So I wanted to see if this would work. Um, because if you have it laying around, why not use it? Um, ew, ew, ew. It did not work as well. This blue glue, I don't know if there's some kind of additive in it here or something because maybe it's supposedly for slime or something it didn't dry very well so i got some crackles but i didn't get what i wanted and the good thing about this if you don't like this all you have to do is take it to your sink scrub it with a scrub brush and you get down to your regular cup that you have because it's all washable um, the acrylic paints are washable and so is the elmer school glue so you don't like it ditch it put it in the sink scrub it off and because that's where this one's going in the scrub pile yes um yes i think mr nola did get the chicken thing fixed mr nola did you get the chicken thing fixed <laughs> We no longer sell chicken. We no longer sell chicken, he says. We sell we sell glitter, not Louisiana's finest fried chicken. <laughs> Even though chicken is really close to my heart. Wanna come say hey, Mr. Nola? Where is he? You're so silly. Um, so the next thing I used, there is actually, um, there is actual um, a crackle medium that is on the market. I think there's two different kinds. This is the one that I have. It's by Folk Art. Um, crackle medium. Basically, it's this. You go through the same steps. Um, you have a painted or glittered surface. You apply this, let this dry. Apply the acrylic paint and let that dry, and it crackles. This is the results I got from this. Oh, we don't have it. No, no, no. Um, I think this is too crackly for me. So you're the one that called. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know about the chicken. Um, so I think this is too crackly for my taste. So if you like the super, super crackle, I would look for a crackling medium and you'll get this super, super crackle. Um, it's more of a weathered look and I think it would probably look better. Um, this was a dipped cup under here and so you can see the dipped lines a little bit. So maybe if this was um, just a regular uh, spray painted or a regular painted base, uh, it would look okay, but this is like super crackle. So if you are, you're looking at for super, super crackled, um, weathered, textured, I would pick up a crackling medium. I think these are like $4 or something at, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, um, even on Amazon, Hobby Lobby and Michael's, you can use a coupon for it and get it for a couple bucks, okay? Um, all right, and then, um, then the last one that I did was I went back, so I did all of those this morning, and I'm like, fail, fail, fail. So this one, I went back to what I knew. So this is on, um, it kind of looks rough because this was a, uh, I was gonna make a geode out of it, but um, this is a glittered base, and then this is a thin coat of the Elmer's glue and a thin coat of um, um, the acrylic paint in this blue, and look how cool. I think this one came out really cool and when I epoxy it all of those little crackle lines you'll be able to see the glitter in between them um, they it's gonna be friggin awesome so um, I'm gonna teach you this this today we're gonna do it in two different ways okay so um, I have this glittered cup so we are going to um, we are going to crackle this glitter cup and this one's pretty much smooth so you're not gonna see the bumps and stuff like you do on the other one um, 
but um, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do the the regular Elmer's glue and crackle over glitter, which this is super pretty. Um, and then we are going to ink one with um, our new uh, some of some new colors from the Tim Holtz that we just launched. We're gonna do some kind of design, and then we're going to crackle over this one as well. So we are going. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna start on the ink cup first. I want to show you a couple um, couple tools that I have. Um, you can use, let me move some of my stuff out of the way so I don't make a mess mess. Um, and I'll show pictures of these cups close up, um, probably in our Facebook group. So if you want to go check them out um, after the live, I'll post close up so you can see the difference in all the things that we used. Um, the tools that I'm going to use is um, I bought these brushes uh, from Folk Art. I think I got them on Amazon. They are, um, I think it's a two inch. Let's see. Nope. It's a one and a half inch brush. Um, it's a wide brush. I like these brushes for doing this technique. Um, hey, Crystal. Hey, Natasha. Um, so because you don't want um, a whole bunch of brush strokes. So um, I like these. So, and also when you do the acrylic paint over the glue, you don't want to brush over up and down. You wanna do one strip because if you brush back and forth, it kind of messes it up where it doesn't crackle. So that's why I use a wide brush. So you can like really get in there and we're gonna do like stripes, really fat stripes with these. All right, so, um, I'm gonna take my white spray painted cup here. Um, I'm going to show you, let me move this keyboard so I don't mess my keyboard up. My mat, my desk is a mess. So I'm gonna show you guys how I, um, I've, I've showed you before in a few other lives how I um, find the colors of alcohol ink that I wanna use. So I'm gonna point you down real quick. I have just a paper towel here, okay? And um, these are all new Tim Holtz alcohol inks that we launched last week. Uh, they're beautiful new colors. Um, Glacier, um, Lag Laguna, Fiesta, Boysenberry, uh, Mojito, and Gumball. So um, I am going to uh, just test them out and see the kind of colors I'm getting. So that's this is Glacier. Because I'm going to do just a little splotchy design on my cups on this cup before we do the um, crackle, just to give it some color underneath it. Oh, I'm already loving those three colors together, right? Can you guys see that? Make sure you can see pretty clear. My desk is a mess and there's like tons of notes on it, so. Yes, the fatter brushes do, they're easier to cover, yes. Um, Melissa, what kind of alcohol inks do you have? And have you prepped your cup? You have to prep your cup for alcohol inks to stick to your cups. Okay. So, um, I think I like them all with the exception of this gumball. I'm going to, I'm going to remove that. So I have some cool little, um, things to use. I have these little dauber things, um, that I got at TumblrCon. Um, we got tons of these in our bag, so I'm gonna be using, maybe try some of this. I have these little, um, these are magic eraser, little chunks of magic eraser that I'm gonna use. This is a makeup brush sponge. You can use um, a sponge, um, these little spongy thingies, whatever, sponge brush thingies or whatever. Um, you can use whatever you want, and um, you can create whatever kind of designs that you want. So I'm gonna open, open all these up um, let me try I'm such a bad alcohol ink mom my lids never go back on the same colors oh yeah resin colorant is not the same as alcohol inks hun resin colorant colorant is just to color um, your alcohol I mean your um, your resin so um, that's the reason why it's not sticking to your cup. You have to color your epoxy with that and then put your epoxy on your cup. So I have a little, I'm just using a little paper plate because um, I might want to dab. So I'm just gonna use it like a little palette. I got my little thing. I'm just gonna do some little splotches. I'm just gonna start with little splotches. So that's why it's not sticking, babe.
like I said, you use whatever you have. Um, I don't like to use cotton balls because cotton balls leave stuff behind. Um, so um, I just use this and I'll use something else to show you guys the difference. This is just gonna be a little abstract base color so you can see some fun colors under the crackle. All right. That's okay. Those are really cool too. You can do a lot of things with those things, but they're definitely not alcohol inks. Some little purple, boysenberry. This boysenberry is beautiful. All right, some boysenberry. There is no rhyme or reason to this, guys. I'm just dabbing it on. I'm just going to blend them all together and just make just make some designs. I liked the colors together. I liked how the alcohol ink looked the best under the crackle. So that's that's why I'm gonna I'm doing this. Um, if you have an alcohol ink cup that you're just like meh, you don't like, um, and you're not feeling it, definitely just use it and um, crackle over it. This Fiesta is like the hottest pink ever. Super, super hot pink. Yep, they are. That is perfect for the water. Yes, so um, that that's perfect for the water, but it's not. You're not going to be able to um, lay them down on a cup. Um, but they are definitely perfect for the water. You can use so many different things to create the water. All right, let's see. I'm going to go in Laguna. Yep, I have a makeup, I have a makeup sponge, so we'll try that next. So let's see. Oops. So this is just a little makeup sponge type thing. That goes a little lighter. I wonder if it goes, let's see, if it goes on that light with this. Yeah, so it looks like it goes on a little lighter with the makeup sponge. So if you like the more muted colors, you can. I would do the makeup sponge. Um, I'm just blending these out. Thank you, Maria. Just a little dab, dab, dab. When I get my little first little um, designs laid out, then I'll go back and fill in with the rest of the colors and then we'll blend them so they don't look like a big splotch mess. And I'll show you guys how I blend them as well. You can overlap the colors because when you, alcohol inks, when you build, when you overlap colors, you build uh, new colors and you get um, really cool results. And then this is the glacier, which is super pretty too. All right. I probably should have put gloves on, but if you're worried about rainbow fingers, definitely wear gloves. See how like when you're mixing colors, they um, blend together and create other colors. Um, these are Tim Holtz new, um, the his new line of um, colors that he just launched um, last week. So these um, these are all Tim Holtz. Uh, I use a lot of different inks, um, but I like these new colors a lot. All right, so that looks like a hot mess, right? So we're just gonna go back and we're going to put more color in the colors that you want. Can y'all see me? I'm not, I don't know if I'm, oop, that's mixing together. So more green. Don't use that. My plate is discombobulated and mixing colors. I'll take some more of this pink. more pink down here like I said there's no rhyme or reason don't forget your bottoms I've told you guys your bottoms are super important um, 
This is just to get, um, thank you, Tamika. Um, this is just to get color on this base. Oops, my stuff stuck. So we can, when we crackle it, it'll look, um, it'll look kind of cool under there. So I'm just filling in the holes. I like the green a lot. Oops. So I'm just going through. It looks like a hot mess. You're not going to see this, trust me. This is just so you can have some really cool tech, uh, colors peeking through at the bottom. Where is the boysenberry? Hi there. Hot Mess Express, but it's fine, I promise. Some purple over here needed. Let me put some purple on this bottom. See my bottom down here? Uh, some more of the Fiesta. Where's my Fiesta? Whoops. Um, Fiesta right there. So I'm just making sure there's no white spaces. You can, uh, you can do this with regular paint if you want to. You can splotch it with regular paint. I like the alcohol ink because the alcohol ink um, almost tints the crackle a little bit. So it gives it like um, a kind of cool effect and I'll show you up close what that looks like um, in a second. So green, I need some green at the bottom here. All right, so right now we have a hot mess, right? Um, I like to, I like chameleon powders. I like to put them on black bases um, because that's where you see them the most at. Um, and I like to do, they're perfect for like dragon scales or um, I like to put them in mold sometimes. All right, so now we have this ridiculous thing, right? So, um, in this bottle, I have some alcohol ink. I mean, excuse me, some 91% um, alcohol. So, um, <clears throat> I can, so to, if you want to lighten it or give it like a cool technique. I think this is alcohol ink or is this water? Oh, no, it's alcohol. So see how the alcohol is like um, giving it like splotchy patterns. This is 91% rubbing alcohol. So it's kind of changing the look. If you see something that you like, blow on it because alcohol dries instantly. If you think something's too dark, spray it down. You can daub it off if you want to. You can use the makeup sponge to suck up some of the stuff if you want. To want to mute it out a little bit. I like, I don't want it to run. You just have to be careful so it doesn't run like that. Um, I'm cleaning up the runs. But it almost kind of looks like um, tie-dye a little bit. Hi, Laura, welcome. Yeah, I always use 91% because it does what it's supposed to do. All right, so I think that's pretty much blended together like I want it. It's not so splotchy, but it kind of looks like tie-dye a little bit, right? So you could definitely run with this if you want to just epoxy over this. This would be totally cool. Um, yeah, the pink is Fiesta. It's like a hot pink. It's super pretty. So I'll take my heat gun and I'll dry this um, a little bit to speed this up. 
stop putting this in all. Yep, Tim Holtz. Three? Yeah. All right, so I'm just taking my heat gun and making sure to dry where I want it to dry. Um, so it's it's set. If it's runny, it's gonna run all over the place. I'm gonna set this to the side. We're gonna go back to this one in a minute, but I still wanna make sure that my design is um, pretty much set. I love the way that looks. Very watercolorish, right? Um, it won't, you, you can't use regular paint and alcohol to create this kind of a look, but if you don't have alcohol ink and you want to paint your base, yes, you can totally do that. Yes, you can get these new colors on our website, um, and I'll go over the colors that I just used. So there we go. So we have this base. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit, and we're gonna go on to the glittered one, and by the time we're done with the glittered one, this will be ready to roll, okay? Yep, they are available in our store, and I'll go through the, um, let me set this over here. I'm gonna go through the colors for you guys. I thought I put them, okay. So the blue is Glacier. I think you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Let me make sure when it comes up. For um, for this one, yeah, so I'm gonna do one with glitter and one with alcohol inks. Um, the other ones, I just had the glitter, it was already epoxied. So let's see if this is gonna come through. A little bit higher. Glacier is the blue. The teal is, uh, Laguna. All right, the pink is Fiesta, which is a hot, hot pink. I love this. Fiesta, hot pink. Okay. The green is my favorite green that Tim Holtz has, and it is Mojito. Okay. And this purple is boysenberry, which is a kind of a, a darker purple, but it really blends in with that Fiesta really good. And these are available um, at Mr. Nola's Glitter. Uh, dot com and go to Tim Holtz and all of the new colors have asterisks in front of them. So, you know, you're going to get the new ones. Um, these are the new ones that were just launched. There's a bunch more, but those are just the ones we use today, okay? So we have that to the side. I'm gonna put this to the side. So the next thing we're gonna do is, um, let me see if I can turn you here, if you wanna watch me here, maybe. I don't know if it's cutting off my hair. Let's see. All right, let me see if it pops up and see my face. That's scary. All right, so I'm getting my Elmer's glue. This is what we're gonna use to crackle. I have it in a cup already. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna turn you down just a little bit. Um, and then um, on the top of here, I'm probably gonna use, I really like the way the white looks. Um, I think, what do y'all think? So I have a white, I used on this, on, where'd the glitter go? So on this glitter, um, I used the, um, this was like a, this was, I can't remember what glitter it was, but I used a teal on the top. So you could see the glitter under it. So I think I'm gonna do white on both of them. You could definitely use any color that you want, but I think the white will really show the glitter under here. And I know the white on the alcohol ink one is gonna look really pretty too. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I am going to take this glittered cup. Um, this I glittered this yesterday. I, um, I spray painted it and then I ombre it with the dark at the top and then the light in the middle, um, pretty and purple is the middle color here and purple monkey is the top dark color 
and then I put rave over the top of it. So it's kind of like a really opal-y purple. Um, I really like the way it came out, but I think it's really gonna look really pretty under, um, under a pox, I mean, under the crackle. All right, so we're gonna crackle, all right? So, I'll watch you make you come down here. So I'm using these fat brushes brushes yeah I'm gonna do the white I think the white is the best I like the way the white looks no ma'am um all we did so far miss Melissa is we inked the first cup that we're gonna do where that one's gonna sit for a minute okay so we have this um, we are going to apply a thin layer of glue yes on the, on our epoxy glitter cup so it doesn't matter how you apply this. You can rebrush over the top of it as much as you want. You want a pretty thin layer so it gets, um, so it dries relatively quick. Um, you don't want it to dry all the way because as it's as the glue's drying and you put um, and you put the um, acrylic paint over it, that's what causes that's what makes it crackle. And if you ever doing this and you like get it crackled and you're like, what have I done with my life? All you have to do is go in your bathroom, your sink, whatever. Elmer's glue and acrylic paint are both washable, okay? And so you don't like it, go wash it off and start over. Do not sweat over this because this is um, the probably the most forgiving technique um, when you're starting with um, a glittered cup. Okay, now alcohol ink, you might have a little, a little, um, a li it might be a little harder to get off. I haven't tried rinsing an alcohol ink cup, but I have tried, um, I have re-washed and re-crackled um, a glittered cup like 14 times already because I don't like the way it comes out any anytime. All right, so um, this is Elmer's glue, Elmer's school glue. Everybody has it in a drawer somewhere. All right. Um, use the shakers. Um, that's, that's what I used. I use them both. It doesn't matter. Um, sometimes I like to sprinkle. Sometimes I like to shake. Um, but sh I think shakers actually help on, help with an ombre. If you if you have ombre issues, shakers will definitely help you. Okay. So, um, this is, uh, what it looks like. As you can see, it's a very light coat. So I'm gonna take my heat gun and I am going to just dry it a little bit. Like I said, you don't want it, um, can y'all see that or is it a weird angle? You don't want the whole thing super dry because as the glue is drying with your acrylic paint over the top, that's what makes it crackle. So I just like, Start it on start it on its way. I'm sorry guys. There's a delay, so I don't know until after I move it if it's working. Okay, Tammy, that's good to know. The acetone removes the alcohol ink. Okay. Just a little heat gun, blow dryer, whatever you have. You don't have to have any special tools. This is what I have. This was a cute little heat gun that I got um, when we were at TumblrCon. But um, if you rather something like this, we sell this in our store as well. All right, so I have pre-started that to dry. I'm gonna set that to the side, okay? And then I'm going to, sh um, I am going to, so this is our ink cup. It looks fairly dry. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a tip. If you do not want to go outside and spray seal your cup, I use Aquanet hairspray. Lord knows I have enough of it in my hair, not this kind, but um, from when it first started doing cups, we're trying to make homemade watch posh. Oh, 
Yes, um, Ruth, the, the new inks are available in our store. So I'm gonna take this Aquanet hairspray. This is a little tip from Mardi Gras girls. They seal their glitter um, on their throws with Aquanet. So um, when I don't wanna go outside and I, in a pinch, I use Aquanet to seal my alcohol inks. So I'm gonna just go right here. You don't have to seal your alcohol inks, but it's gonna make me feel better. And you know, Mr. Nola's used to, um, he's used to hairspray smell in the house because I use enough of it. So, took a little hairspray, take my little hair dryer, not hair dryer, um, dryer, thingamadoodle, heat gun, dry the hairspray on it. I have a little bit of run because I was a little heavy handed. I thought I was spraying my hair. And so this is going to, um, in a pinch, um, you can use this in your house. If it's too cold to go outside and you just need like a little light coat just to make sure it doesn't run and do any kind, anything kind of crazy, which I have a run right now. So I'm going to show you guys. All you have to do is just dab it with a paper towel. Make sure nothing looks funky donkey. All right. Um, and no one will know. Uh, we sold out, but I think they should be back in stock. I think we got them back in stock. Oh, goodness, Melissa, that's a hot heat gun. It's setting off your smoke alarm. That's too hot, girl. So that's, I'm going to put this to the side. I just wanted that thin coat on here. So when we do the next layer that it's not going to move around. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Oops. I dropped something. I'm going to put my hairspray back. Um, then I'm going to get another cup. This is regular white acrylic paint that we're going to use on both of these. Um, like I said, this is deco art, but you can use whatever's in your craft room. Um, did I trash it? Oh. Um, this is, um, from the cup turner. Um, she makes 3D print, um, 3D printed, um, cup turners and PC parts. This is my favorite thing on the planet. I'm about to order about a million more of these. Um, because this is what my this is what goes on my turner and so you can like stand your stuff up i'll link it in the description um but if you're coming to GlitterCon, you're going to get one of these in your swag bag so these are super cool i swear super cool all right so i'm going to take one more pass um i'll put my paint in here real quick Take one more pass with the heat gun. You don't want this totally dry, okay? Um, because again, when it's drying, it's what's gonna crackle your paint, okay? So, it's pretty good. Just one more pass. All right, I don't know what just rolled. Again, I'm using my fat paintbrush. This is an inch and a half. So this is very important. You don't want to apply this like you're painting a wall, like paint, 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 paint. You don't want to go over the same spot that you've already went over. So you wanna load your brush with enough paint so you can do one swoop, like whoosh, and do it all whoosh, one time, okay? All right, so let me show you. So I, um, I'm gonna load my brush. And loading your brush um, is just a painter's term. That means um, getting a lot of paint, like soaking in between your bristles. You don't want it like oversaturated, but you want it enough to where when you do a, whoosh, it's enough to go all the way down, okay? 
Hey, Jeffrey, that's cool. Um, I'm not trying to um, make anyone buy anybody else's stuff, um, but we support people that support us. So um, I don't mind sharing where I buy things or linking people where they can buy things. So um, everybody is free to buy whatever they want to buy whenever they want to buy, um, but we do support um, the vendors and stuff that support us and my friends. So um, that's cool, though. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna start here. Let me see. And I'm gonna make one fat swoop. See, I did a whole swoop. And I'm not gonna go back over that spot. Swoop. Swoop. That's a little bit too much. Swoop. You don't want your brush to run over where you've already painted because that messes it up. Swoop. And for some reason, it's the same around, but I never can make a whole thing. Swoop. And then swoop. That's where I'll put my decal. Okay? Um, is this perfect? No, this is not perfect. If, if you like perfect, this is probably not the right one for you. All right, so then I'm gonna take my heat gun, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the whoosh, the whoosh. Um, hold on, let's see, my, uh, my thing is all twisted. All right, and then um, I'm gonna take my heat gun and and as you can see, as it's drying, let's see if I can move it down a little bit. As it's drying with the heat, you can see it crackle. Ah, oh, crap! Don't forget your bottom. Your bottom is very important. Clearly, I forgot my bottom. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Barb. Okay, so as you can see, when it's drying, it's starting to crackle. Can you guys see that? some imperfections right now um, but these are kind of shabby sheets so right here I noticed that it didn't go all the way up and the paint is still kind of wet so I will just dab it with my finger these are very rustic looking uh, very rustic looking cups so um, if perfection is what you're going for this is not the technique for you okay cuz um, I am the furthest from perfect. So if it looks like a hot mess, I am right there. I like the hot messes. Um, Linda, I don't think so, um, but there could be possibly some tickets for sale um, if once it gets closer to the event, if things happen. Can y'all see this? I forget where I'm at. There you go. So look at that. So some of the paint is kind of thick, but as it's drying, it's still crackling. I think this is gonna look super cool once we get it under epoxy, because you'll be able to see all that glitter poking out. Yes, Hot Mess Express, Melissa, you and I. Choo choo, girl. Choo choo. Can y'all see that? Y'all saved me. I can't believe I forgot my bottom. I preach to y'all all the time. So, 
Um, it's not fully dry, but you can see the tech. You can see. Um, um, uh, Nikki, I have not figured that out yet. Maybe, um, maybe if you do thicker glue, maybe. Um, that's a good question. I can test it um, and see. Maybe. There were 60, 60 tickets sold per weekend. So there you go. There is crackle over glitter. All right. So then we're going to, so while that's drying, so this is all dry. My seal is on here. Okay. So I still have my Elmer's glue in here. Still have my big fat brush. So we're going to, um, we're going to cover this one and we're going to do this. Okay. Can you see me? All right. So I'm covering it with glue. I need a little bit more. And my cup. Just regular Elmer school glue. I'll lay that there so you guys can see what we're using. Now I'm gonna I'm painting my our alcohol ink cup that we just base coated with just some random alcohol inks. Okay. I actually tried um, the crackle medium this morning. It makes bigger crackles. I, um, I, pers I, my personal, I personally like the smaller crackles. So if maybe if you want the bigger crackles, um, maybe you can maybe use the crackling medium or um, do some trial and error with the glue. Maybe thicker makes bigger crackles. Um, it takes longer to dry, I know that. So I did put it on a little thicker on this one, so let's see if we can test that. I'll take one for the team. Yep. Um, I don't know. I mean, you could, I've never, so it's kind of like a double dip. Maybe you can double crackle, but I think it would cover up the areas that you, um, the good areas. I don't know. I've never, I, I literally just learned this. All right, so I have my glue on here. All right, and let me put, I don't have, oh, I think I just touched my face. Um, glued that, some white paint. What about not completing during the blue before adding the paint, then dry them together? Um, what about not completing during the glue before adding the paint, then drying them together? Um, I don't know. Nikki, if you try that, I'd love to hear the results. I'm not, I'm not positive. Like I said, I, I, I seen this at TumblrCon and um, I spent a couple, I spent all day yesterday playing with all the different, um, um, to make the two that I made. And then this morning I played with all the different ones. Try it over the purple glitter. Okay, I'll try that. Let me get this um, started trying. Um, Jerry, it just uses um, simple, simple things that you have at home. Um, it's no different, I don't think. It's the same technique. You you, you do the same steps. Um, instead of using the glue, you would use crackle medium. So it's just about what you have, um, and I guess the look that you prefer. The crackle medium crack, crackled a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so if you want like a lot of crackle, maybe the crackle medium. I like just um, slightly crackle. That's my personal preference. 
Um, Gwen, we don't. I got these on Amazon, and I believe, like, for two of them, that was, like, five bucks. If you completely dry the glue, though, it doesn't crackle. Now, these aren't Mod Podge brushes. These are, um, we do, we do have Mod Podge brushes, but these are, like, premium. Um, these are, like, one and a half inch brushes. So, this is going to set for a second. So, where, where you want me to try? Like, right here? I don't think, I think it's not going to crackle because it are, the glue is already dried. So maybe I can put another thing, but it's not, it, it's going to crackle. What it's going to crackle is the white paint. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that's going to work. Um, let's see. Let me dry this just a little bit more. But I think if you do it more wet, maybe that'll, that'll give it more crackle. We're going to try it. All right. We, oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Oh, gosh, no. Okay. Are y'all still here? Woo. Whew. wet glue okay I'm this is a little wetter than I normally use so we're gonna try that we're gonna give it a whirl yes that's important do not completely dry the glue that's why you can't go back and forth over it so I'm gonna start here Whoosh. okay Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, can y'all see? Yep. Whoosh. Whoosh. And a little bit here. All right. And then before I dry, I'm going to rub my finger on these little spots that I missed here and the bottom clearly because I forgot the bottom already. All right, so try not to retouch where you've already painted. For some reason, it jacks it up, okay? Now, let's see what we got. If you can already see that it's crackling. All right. So the glue not being completely dry is where you're going to get bigger crackles, guys. Look, we're learning together. Look at us learn together. So if your glue is wet, that's where it separates the most. I really love the ink under here because, like, you can really see some cool colors. So there you go. That's, that, is the, um, that is the key. So we might do one more if I can find one more color. So the wetter your glue, the bigger the crackles. Look at those crackles, guys. Um, Gwen, I did not. I did fast set um, on it, and then I decaled it. So I did not seal. I let it dry for a few hours, though, because it's really thick on here. beans look at that so the wetter your glue is the bigger your crackle spaces are okay look at that we learned something look at that and I love the ink under there because it shows like all the different colors so I'm gonna find something really cool what um, yeah I don't seal this Yep, so this was just a thicker coat of glue and it wasn't all the way dry. 
and we got those really big um we got those really big crackles on there pretty cool i have no idea i can tell you it was not me um this has been this technique has been around for um a long time um and this is just the first time i've ever tried it so it's pretty dry yeah so that's kind of cool this could kind of be like a wood grain-ish kind of. So if you did like a brown under it, let me see. Um, let me think. Hmm, hang tight. Let's do something. My wheels are turning. Hang on, let's see. Do I have one more cup? I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. So this is this is one of my cups from TumblrCon. Um, let me get a chuck. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I have an idea. I have an idea. Yes. So these are epoxied. I did these yesterday, and these are epoxied. They look really snazzy. Yes. Okay. Um, um. 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 I tried with color glue, but um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. Let me find a, let me find a chalk. I have an idea, I have an idea. Let me put this in here. Okay, I have an idea. Um, this is paint. Hmm. Let's see. Um, 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 I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, so this is some, so this is two of Tim Holtz's new colors, right? The Sienna and Rosewood. So we're gonna kinda do like a, a wood color on the bottom of here. Yes, that's what I'm going for. All right, so let me get a, let me get a paper plate real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, ew, don't touch that. That's so nasty. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. Um, oh, not that one. That one has a note on it. Does anybody else um, write notes on their um, paper plates? No, just me? Okay, cool. Um, let me cut this. I'm gonna call Amber because I need a color. All right, all right. So this is rosewood, which is a dark. All right, oh, look. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm just thinking outside the box right now. It's not gonna be, this is not typical wood grain. I'm just, um, I'm just getting some of these colors on here because I think the pattern with the, um, with the crackle kind of looks wood grainish, if you know what I mean. But, so I wanna get these dark colors. This is a beautiful on here. So I'm just taking a sponge and I'm rubbing this on here. And then I'm gonna do the Sienna. Let's see what the Sienna looks like. The Sienna might be, yeah. So if you're wondering if these two colors are gonna look good for wood grain, yes, this is gonna change your wood grain looks because it's not the normal 
three colors that we normally use from Tim Holtz. So this is going to get you some of those rosewood trees. So those um, big, beautiful trees that are out there in the forest. I love the darker um, woods like cedar and stuff like that. So this is totally, so if you wanted to do a wood grain, you would use like a wood chip brush or something of the sorts. Yes, cherry wood. Yes, 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 yes. This is, that's my favorite. Okay. I like this. I like these colors. And a little bit more and so I'm just covering my base just like I did with the random colors um, with this cherry wood stuff this is oh gosh this is two of Tim Holtz's new colors the rosewood and the sienna um, if you are a dark wood lover this is what you're gonna look these you're gonna need these colors for your wood grains these are super, super pretty. And then I'm gonna do, make it round at the bottom. Oh, black base, crackle, then wood grain. Okay, that sounds cool. Let's see here. So if I wanted to, um, so I'm just taking the last little bit and making sure no white is showing on my cup, right? Just like we did with the other one, except this is just with weird colors, with these colors, okay? I think that's kind of cool, right? Looks wood grainish. It's it's like cherry wood. It's like, um, um, whatever you know what I'm talking about let me try something yeah and I don't think I'm even going to I'm not even going to spray this because I'm okay with this all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to use my um my aquanet again really quick and seal it lightly Okay, so it's sealed lightly. I'm going to Amber call Amber to help me. Um, the glue is not diluted. No. Redwood. Hey. Red? Yes. Um, I need in the acrylic paint. Do we have like a brown? Yes. Something brown? Here. Yeah. Let me see, please. Sure. I think they're still next door. Are they still next door? Yeah. Here. No, they're still next door on that table. So um, I have sprayed that a little bit. I mean, this is not even trying. This is just putting those colors on here. But um, my next wood grain will be with the with these inks because this is beautiful. I love the dark. Kind of reminds me of like. Um, when you have one of those um, hope chests or whatever, they're made out of cedar. This looks really cool. So it looks like a cedar hope chest to me. Let me put the let me put my lids back on here before I make a giant mess. Um, Donna, you can use clear spray paint if you want to get up and go outside and all that. Um, I, this is just a tip from the Mardi Gras girls. They use this. Um, like tan and then brown. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's okay. going to be perfect. Um, so it just dries really fast and it seals it for what I need. So that's all. Um, you can use whatever you're normally used to. I just, um, I can spray that indoors. Um, and I don't have to worry about um, um, killing people with the smell. So I'm going to have to mix a little bit. So I have um, 
nutmeg brown and uh, a tan. So I, I just want to use the tan basically and just a maybe a smidge, smidgen, a smidge of the nutmeg brown. And so again, these are just regular um, apple barrel paints, whatever. Um, the inks on this on this wood that we're gonna try the wood are rosewood and sienna. Laura, I'm not sure about the water slides. I'm not positive. So I'm just gonna use a little boop in there because I don't want it super dark. I want it, I want it light enough to where um, It looks like bark, maybe a little darker. What do y'all think, a little darker? Maybe a little darker. Um, a little, a little sploosh sploosh. I think this is good. I don't want it too dark because I want it to still look like the crackle thing, but so, and it'll pick up those dark colors under it. So I used whatever I had on hand, which was um, mushroom, like this little tan color, and then um, nutmeg brown. If you have a brown or like a light off, I think white is too white, but I think like this off, off color is really pretty. Yeah. Um, and I may add just a, just a touch of white back into that. Let's see. I'm like mix master. There we go. I think that's cool. What you think? So we have that set. Um, our cup is dry from our quick shot of hairspray. Okay. We have our that's paint. I gotta smell my buckets. That's glue, but that one's dirty. All right, so I'm gonna put my Elmer's glue back in. My cup, oops. So we know the more the glue, the bigger the, um, the more, the wetter the glue, the bigger the crackles. So um, we're gonna put this on relatively thick-ish, ew. And um, ah, that's a good that's that's a good tip, Susan. Um, and so we're gonna leave this relatively wet when we put the color over the top of it. All right, can you guys see me? Where am I? Let me see. So I'm gonna put this on really. This is a True 32 from Steel Magnolias. Um, this is a really cool type of a cup. Um, it's not the traditional lump down here. You got a lot more design space at the top. This is a honking cup, y'all, a honking cup. Oh, this, this alcohol ink is beautiful, ugh. This will bring back my love for wood grain, these dark colors. These are the colors I'm always trying to go for when I make a wood grain. All right, don't forget your bottom. Clearly I did the last time, and I'm just gonna make sure that it's covered all the way down relatively. Um, even they're acting a fool out there all right so we have that okay um yeah so i'm not positive it's like the best thing to use but that's what i use in a pinch okay um so that's that's why i do that okay so then um i have another brush i think i have another brush here, this is a clean one. 
This is a clean one. All right, I'm gonna dry it a little. Take my heat gun, just dry it a, a pinch, just a little bit. Melissa, I haven't. These are hard for me to hold. I'm, I'm a skinny girl all the way. I mean, I'm not skinny, clearly. Um, but I like the skinny cups. I like the straight cups. They're um, much easier for me to handle and maneuver. So I'm drying my glue just a little bit, not too much. You can still see it's plenty milky. Yeah, I've used it on my glitter too in a pinch too. I just don't like to. I just don't like to use the um, the. Um, I don't like to go outside for the clear coat. It's ridiculous. All right, so here is, so we're gonna use this color to go over the top. My glue is fairly um, um, still very wet, so I'm gonna load my brush really good, if you can see that. All right, and um, I'm not positive if it's gonna work with the lump or bump, but we're gonna try, okay? So just swoosh it down. Yep, I need a little bit more to go all the way down. I'm gonna go this way. Might be easier this way. Swoosh. 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 Whoosh. Then I will whoops, take my finger, go around here, the spots that didn't get one. Okay. I will do um, pass the bottom here. All right. And then let's see what we can do. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. So the glue is really wet under here, so it might take a minute to get this um, properly going. Exactly wood grain-ish, but um, I bet you you can maybe even take some alcohol ink or something. But I mean, it's not terrible.
but it's definitely the more glue, the more the crackle. And I think it will continue to crackle as it dries as well. That's a lot of crackle on here. This is the most. Yeah. It definitely is a different look. Everybody's cups look the same now, so if you if you can find something that looks different, you can turn it into whatever you want to turn it into. So there we go. Um, maybe my top should have been a little bit darker, or I don't know, but I mean, I don't hate it. Um, and it's still wet. Clearly, it's still wet because uh, it was real thick, real thick. But I think as it continues to dry, um, it'll still do whatever it's got to do. So I don't hate it. So a half a thumbs up, maybe, right? Yeah, it's like definitely for a manly cup. Um, you could put something on here, something. I see the little spot I missed. Um, but yeah, I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate that. So this was the one we did with the wood grain type of thing. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go back through them and then I'm gonna get off of here. Um, so, cause I guess I have to like really go to work today. Ouch, okay. So that was the wood grain. Um, this is the one that we did over the glitter, the purple glitter. Um, I may wash this off because I have this blank spot unless I find a really cool decal, but I think it's really gonna look very, very pretty under epoxy because all of that will come out, okay? All right, um, this is the one with the alcohol ink which I adore because the alcohol ink almost dyes that crackle. So it kind of gives it like a more of a tie-dyed look a little bit. So there was our, this was our alcohol crackle. All right, and which other ones? So that was alcohol, glitter, and then the wood. So I think you can put, um, Mary, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. This is the second day that I played with the Elmer's glue and I think I got paint on my face, probably. I got paint everywhere else. So, oh, very country. That's true, that's true. I'll do something country on it. Um, but yeah, so then when you epoxy it, your cup will look like this, it's so shiny. Um, and you'll see this is the one that I did that had alcohol ink under it. Um, so it came out really cool. You could just pick out a decal. This was the other one that I did that had um, a glittered base under it and um, don't wanna see the dirty word, the ugly word. But, um, and then uh, put a little decal on it or whatever. But um, yeah, so super simple, something you have laying around your house. Everyone has acrylic paint and Elmer School, school Glue. So um, get out there and get cracking. Um, see what you can come up with and I'd love to see your results. If you want to join us over at um, our Facebook group, it's Mr. Nola's Glitter. Um, we are on Instagram. Um, I will have all of these posted on Instagram and Facebook when we get done. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, if this is the first time you've tuned in, um, like and subscribe. Get down and say hello to Mr. Nola. And we Nola. don't sell chicken. And we don't sell chicken. <laughs> I mean, I wish we sold chicken, but we don't sell chicken. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions, just um, give us a holler and we'll get back to you. Um, and everything that I used probably, um, yeah, I'll link to the alcohol links because I think everything else you just have laying around your house. So um, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.